You are watching Endeavor TV with the Acer Aspire 1 522 netbook which has a new AMD K125 processor and an ATI graphic to allow it to play full HD movies and that's why we have an HDMI out also on this netbook and I'm going to show you how to dissect it but first how just to upgrade your RAM and uh, hard drive which is pretty easy and you don't need to be worried about taking out all these screws if you just want to upgrade your hard drive and RAM the only thing you have to do is take out seven screws and here on the bottom and you are ready to go it's pretty easy on this new device and yeah actually Acer is, uh, Acer is pretty nice with us by making such a huge bottom panel you can just take out all the seven screws three on the top four on the row uh, on the bottom row and then lift this thing up and you already can see that we have a hard drive, RAM, um, free PCI Express space. There is no actual slot here, you have to solder it on yourself, but there is space for a PCI Express card. And we have of course the Bluetooth and wireless card right here. The processor is beneath this panel, but you can't actually take it off. I'm going to show you the whole device from the other side, the whole mainboard, to give you a first impression on how a new AMD platform is built in a netbook. The two speakers are right here on the bottom, but let's get started by upgrading the RAM. I don't have actually DDR3 RAM with 2GB or 4GB with me right now, but all you need to do if you bought yourself or did the, the, the stick, to you have to lift up the metal arms to, um, to the left and to the right, and then it already pops out, and this is 1GB DDR3. Sodium RAM, not DDR2 like on the old netbooks, this is DDR3. You can see that here these two panels are um, not the same size as on an old netbook like the 1001P over there. So you can't actually even put a DDR2 in this. I'm not sure if it's upgradable to 4. AMD should uh, actually told me that it should be. Um, not exactly with this device, but actually the processor supports 4GB of DDR3 RAM. So maybe this one slot could handle it, but you actually don't need it. It's pretty expensive and uh, for 1.7 gigahertz. Yeah, it's not worth it. So if you want to put it in again, you may make sure that the short side is on the bottom. Put it in um, and you until uh, you can see the metal um, legs on the bottom and then push it down to have installed your new RAM. The hard drive is even easier. All you have to do is pull this thing here up and then take out the drive slowly. This is actually a West End Digital. There we go. And unplug it from the um, SATA 2 port here. And there you can see we have a West End Digital 250 gigabyte hard drive. If you want to put in a new one, you have to take off this metal case here on the side and here on the other side this metal plate with the rubber legs or plastic legs <coughs> I'm sorry and then um, put it on your new hard drive or SSD so you can insert more space or a faster drive just put back in the SATA 2 like that make sure that this thing is here and push it down to the bottom and then you already have a new hard drive and that's it it's not even screwed in further but it looks pretty um, stable to me so this is not shaking at all and yeah let's take a look at the other side for the pros um, so if you wanna just take a look inside and see what a new AMD platform look like, uh, looks like you won't use a warranty if you do it the right way like I did like take out first the keyboard as always by taking a plastic card go in here on the top between the two uh, spaces and then just take it out, unplug it here on the bottom. As always, if you have watched my other videos, unplug the mainboard um, cable right here because that connects the Synaptics um, touchpad to the mainboard and take out the 20 something screws that you can <laughs> see laying around here and then you already have your um, top here taken off. As you can see, as I told you, we have a Synaptics um, touchpad which is pretty good, as good as on a MacBook, I really like that. And then you can see that we have a beautiful nice 
layout inside with the ATI graphics right here and the uh, CPU is not this but it's on the other side of this little space and that's why the fan is right here also. This was the um, plug for the keyboard, this is the multi-card reader, USB ports, audio, then HDMI and VGA, this is actually the, the display cable that goes there and we have a wireless and Bluetooth cable that goes up to the top right there and yeah you see the cooling is pretty good with nice metal here on the side I haven't seen that on other netbooks that's what makes this a little bit heavier also heavier also this is the hard drive it has a little hole so um, it gets more air from the top I have no clue what this is but it has a MAC address so it has to do something with wireless things and the real interesting um, um, thing I found here is here is a space for a SIM, SIM card reader and this rubber is protecting anything to go in behind the battery but this looks perfectly shaped like a SIM card reader and we already have the space on the other side as I showed you for a PCI Express slot card reader or uh, for a PCI Express slot where a UMTS or a 3G module could be installed so actually this device could come soon with 3G. So this was in Devil TV with the uh, Acer Aspire 1 um, 521 netbook dissecting and helping you upgrade your RAM and hard drive space. Um, good luck with that. Thank you for watching and yeah, check out my other videos on Endeavor TV on YouTube for netbooks, tablets, MIDs and gadgets.